You want to go to mac and cheese? Cook the mac and cheese for Mr. Cheesy. Mac and cheese. That's right. Mac and cheese, Mr. Cheesy. All right. This stovetop mac and cheese is a little bit more elaborate, but it is going to taste like homemade oven baked mac. It's going to be delicious. First, start out with three eggs. Whip them up real nice. Beat them until they can't stand it no more. Next, grab a can of evaporated milk, a 15 ounce. Here, let me turn around so you can see it. Oh, wrong way. There we go. 15 ounce evaporated milk. Next, seasoning. Big old heaping teaspoon of ground black pepper. Next, we're going to add a big old heaping teaspoon of seasoning salt. You could use regular salt if you want. And next, ground mustard. Now, most people might not have this. If not, you could use just a tiny bit of regular mustard or you could just leave it out of the recipe entirely. Not that big of a deal. Next, uh, go ahead, incorporate that, whip it up real good. And we are going to set this to the side while we start the rest of our mac and cheese. Okay? And there we go. That's good enough. Now, big old pot of boiling water. Incorporate one box of elbow macaroni. Well, you could use any pasta if you want to, but macaroni. And about 10 minutes per the package directions. There we go. Nice rolling boil. We're going to take it off the stove. Drain it. There we go. Be careful. Steam does burn. So, always safety first. Next, put it back in the pan. Now, we're going to melt a bunch of butter. Four tablespoons at a time. There we go. Let's go ahead and start the first four. Okay. Keep on stirring as it's melting. Next, four more. One, two, three, four. Chopped it up this time so it would melt a little bit quicker there. There we go. Now, why don't you add it all at the time? Because I didn't want to. There we go. Eight tablespoons. Next, incorporate the egg mixture into the macaroni. There we go. Nice and stirred. Now, cheese. I'm going to use a bag of cheddar easy melt okay just go ahead stir that all in fold it up real nice now I have a bag of cheese that I shredded equal amount as the bag of the belt of uh, the craft cheese that I used there we go uh, eight ounces total per each now once that's all nice and folded up just make sure to put it on a low heat while that cheese melts is not incorporated. Stir it up really, really good. And there we go. Nice stovetop mac and cheese with that homemade southern country baked mac and cheese taste straight from the oven. Delicious. I'm going to take a bite here. And mm, yeah. Delicious. Mac and cheese. Mac and cheese. <laughs>